कार्य करने के बाद मुद्रा योजना प्रारंभ किया था ये योजना मुख्यतः उन व्यक्तियों के लिए है जिन्होंने आज तक बैंकिंग सिस्टम से कोई भी लोन नहीं लिया है यही कारण है कि सरकार ने किसी प्रकार का जैसे कोलेट्रल या किसी विशेष बैंक आदि का दायरा तय करने की कोशिश नहीं की है इस योजना में कोई भी व्यक्ति जो अपने किसी भी प्रकार का व्यवसाय शुरू करना चाहता है उस अपनी सही योजना के लिए बिना किसी कोलेट्रल के अपनी पसंद के किसी भी बैंक या वित्तीय संस्थान से ऋण ले सकता है ब्याज दरें जहाँ तक आर के निर्देश के अनुसार उन्नीस सौ से ही डी रेगुलेटेड है यह सरकार तय नहीं करती है सभी बैंक अपनी ब्याज दरें स्वयं व्यावसायिक हितों के अनुसार तय करती हैं बैंक ब्याजों के ब्याजों के दरों की ऊंची अथवा ज़्यादा होने पर उधारकर्ता को सरकारी बैंकों से कम दर पर लोन लेने की पूरी स्वतंत्रता है लेकिन ध्यान देने वाली बात यह है कि मुद्रा योजना के ज़्यादातर लोन कम ब्याज दरों पर वितरित की जा रही है ऑनरेबल मेम्बर सर इट इज़ वेरी एविडेंट फ्राम द मिनिस्टर्स आंसर that they have no idea about what outcomes are being created no idea about what is happening on the ground as far as mudra loans are concerned no idea why npas are so many what is the high per- reason for the high percentage of npas my question again to the minister is what is the mechanism you have to monitor the way in which these loans are disbursed what rates they are being dispersed what harassment people are going through because of recoveries and what is the outcomes which is coming out of mudra loans permit me to answer this question sir the honorable member was right in saying the interest rate is a range that we've given that it is in the public sector banks it's about 9.15% to 12.80% and for the private sector banks it's about 6.96 to 28% but we do have a mechanism through which we understand what is going on in the ground every year data is collected and banks do follow it up but of course this recovery harassment is something which i want to very clearly put it on the table very welcome if the honorable member has instances of uh, harassment going on somewhere which we will definitely attend to but no the npa numbers i am willing to give here because the honorable members asked i will certainly give it but recovery harassment is something which we have been very closely monitoring and i can say for sure the public sector banks are very closely monitored so are, so also the nbfcs but as i said if there are cases we are very willing to hear it sir the npa issue we do have a system with which we collect the data i want to put it before the honorable member through you sir the pm mudra loan npa on disbursement and i will give it for every year since 2018 19 19 20 2021 up to 23 24 so if anything the npa the npa is only coming down the public sector bank npa on disbursement for mudra loan was 3.76 in the year percent uh, in the year 18 19 gradually it it did go up to about 4.8 in 1920 20 2021 it went to 4.77 but now it's back to 3.4 in fact lower than what it was at the beginning in 23 24 now private sector commercial banks sir mudra loan uh, npas were 0.67 percent in 18 19 it went up to about 1.77 2021 one, the covid year now even for them it's come down to 0.95 percent RRBs also give mudra loan they had a 3.86% in 1819 as this uh, NPA at disbursement uh, which has come down now for the RRBs to 2.47% small finance banks also give mudra loans and for them NPA on disbursement is 3.38% which went up to 3.09 Uh, which actually reached to 0.39 during 2021 highest being in 1819 but that has come down to 0.76% uh, so i want to highlight the fact that sir even state cooperative banks are giving pm uh, mudra loans nbfcs whose rate of interest is slightly higher than the public sector banks even there the npa on disbursement was in 1819 0.47 which has now come to 0.22 overall on mudra loans sir 
it is set 2.10% the NPA on disbursement. Shri Dushan Singh Ji. After the uh, ma'am, uh, your Shishu loan or Mudra loan is is doing very well. Your Kishore loan is doing very, very well. In the state of Rajasthan, 2021 to 22, you're given 7,916 crores. Next year, you're given 11,290 crores. When we are approaching agriculture and making agriculture uh, looking forward, success of Mudra loan to women farmers, to women self-help groups. What are you doing to encourage women self-help groups and, and farmers in uh, like Lakpati Didis to improve them in mudra loans to self-help groups to encourage in farming sector? Sir, farming sector largely gets covered under the KCC and the farm loans and also related loans. Mudra loan is essentially given for small businesses, even if they are agriculture related, but businesses they are. So um, I just want to highlight that uh, feature and leave it for the member, but in case he has some suggestions to give us, we'll be quite happy to take it. So, Sri Parnati Sinde. Sir, I want to ask you a question. A lot of villages are, take, are adopted by certain nationalized banks. But the moment there are two to three defaulters in those villages, the entire village has to pay for it. And the banks refuse to give the other people in those villages, they may be farmers, they may be youth, loans based on the fact that the other two people, that two people from that particular village have defaulted. And then when they take the grievance to the collector, the collector often says that this is not it is under the niantran of the RBI. Because of which a lot of villages have not been able to avail of the facility of the mudra loan. So, Madam Prime Minister, will something be done about this? And if there are just two defaulters in the village, will the entire village have to pay the price for those two people who have defaulted and not be able to get loans in the future? Um, Honorable Speaker, sir, the... The Honourable Member's case doesn't seem to fit in the way in which banking operations work. But if in case this is happening in her area, I will take it very seriously, up, sir. This is absolutely not the way in which mudra loan disbursement happens. Nor can the banks go about saying if there are people who have defaulted, one or two, in a village, the whole village, I'm not sure uh, this is not the written practice, ma'am. But of course, if this is happening, and I take the member, honourable member's word every bit seriously, I like to take the inputs and see, uh, get into the details of it, sir. Question number 186, Dr. Thol Tiruman Walman. Sir, sir. Sir, sir, respect, sir. The supplementary to the question. Sir, the government has collected 6,14,033 lakh No, no. Bro. He's Ravi Kumar. You are Ravi Kumar. I have question number 8. I have told Thiru Ma Wal. One. You can see. Mani Manti Ji. One of the people who have been here. Sri D. Ravi Kumar Ji. Now, ask you. Thank you, sir. Sir, the government has collected 6,14,036 lakh crores up to 2023-24 as GST compensation says, sir. But it released only 4,70,000.